boy, the weather out there today was lousy compared to yesterday. Really thankful that we did get that flight in. You can see gray skies, wind and rain and all of that with yeah, Tropical Depression Bertha. You see the cloud deck with this really on the northern side of it. The center is actually between the Triad and Charlotte and the heaviest rains are being forced up the mountains. We do still have some wet weather out here. You have to look at it here. We'll take you in a little closer. The track is going to take it up over Virginia by overnight hours and then by tomorrow afternoon this storm system will likely be in western Pennsylvania so it is moving away quickly we do have flash flood concerns we have our flash flood watch that is going to be up until 2 a.m. we also have flood advisories for Scythe, Guilford, Davidson as well as Alamance counties that is where we've already seen close to an inch of rain and so at least between now and 11 o'clock we'll get some additional rain not much but there could be some flooding going on Allegheny, Ashwatauga as well as Wilkes County. That flood advisory is up until 1215. We've seen most of our higher totals in the foothills. Stanleyville, ha Hamptonville, close to two inches of rain, just over an inch in Winston-Salem and Greensboro. So you can see the green there on the map. That's where the rainfall is the highest, and it is across the western triad mountains and foothills, and that's where it still continues to fall with the heaviest rain right now just in the northeastern part of Wilkes County, also up into Allegheny County, Hillsville, Galax with some heavy rain. We've got light Lighter rains right now from Danbury to Reedsville and also just a few very light rain showers that are left over across the triad. So on average one to three inches of rain. Streams and creeks will rise. Roads may flood. Remember never to drive through flooded roadways. We could see some minor river flooding too over the next 24 hours. We could also have some wind gusts to 30 miles an hour. They're gusting a bit out there right now and because we do have all of the wet soil from last week's rain we could have some trees down. So power outages are still a concern at least for the next few hours. We've got wind gusts right now, 25 to 30 miles an hour, sustained winds at about 10 to 15 miles an hour, and we definitely have some tropical air in place as our temperatures have warmed some into the low 70s right now. Thankfully, our severe storm threat is over for tonight. We may get a rumble of thunder, but I've got to be honest, I have not seen a lot of lightning at all with this. And as a matter of fact, the severe storm threat is over for much of the Carolinas. You can see the heaviest rains pushing up toward Roanoke right now. We did have one tornado touchdown and this one was in Warren County up the border there right close to Virginia where they did have a very brief small tornado push through that area and they do of course occur with tropical systems. The hour by hour forecast will take you through the next few hours. I think most of this wet weather is over just after midnight. By tomorrow morning we've got the dry skies and we have clouds. We've got clouds in fact for morning and midday. Tomorrow afternoon we'll look for a few isolated showers and storms to pop up and we're in that marginal risk zone for tomorrow afternoon so we could have a few strong to severe storms so of course heavy downpours could create flash flooding from those thunderstorms damaging winds appears to be the biggest threat from any storms that develop tomorrow our temperatures will work their way into the low 80s so it is going to be warmer tomorrow 40 percent chance for a shower or storm foothills also with some scattered showers and storms in the afternoon but tomorrow will not be a total washout so that is good news our numbers will be in the mid 60s in the mountains let's have a look at our seven day forecast where we're we're going to find temperatures that are going to go down into the latter half of the weekend. As a matter of fact, we've got to wait on that. We've got a front that's coming in here. We will have scattered showers and thunderstorms in the forecast between, I should say, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and then by Sunday we do dry out. And look at the cooler numbers by Monday and Tuesday morning in the 50s.